Hi there. This week's episode of Para Breakdown is brought to you by Godzilla Sings. The Terror of Tokyo trills terrific tunes in his debut album, featuring hits like Monster Island Mambo, You Crushed My Heart Like I Crushed Your City, Do the Stump, Talking Tokyo Town Blues, It's Hard to Say I Love You When I'm Breathing Fire, and many, many more. Now available on Capitol Records and found in all Rexall drugstores. And speaking of dinosaur-like cryptids, how about this Renaissance painting I recently discovered on social media? It was presented in three parts. The first at a distance, then closer, and finally a very close-up view of a small portion of the painting showing what looks like people riding dinosaurs. Now this is amazing. What could be cooler and more mind-bending than seeing dinos in an old painting? A painting that was said to have been created in the 16th century. Well, hell's bells. I need to find an authenticated copy of this to confirm. I mean, no one in Europe even heard of dinosaurs back then, so why would they show up in this painting unless, you know, unless it's photoshopped? As we all know, doesn't matter how old something is, once it gets copied as a digital image, we can screw around with it as much as we want. So the claim of something being historic is kind of a moot point. But time marches on, and I came across the original artist, a painter who lived in the Netherlands named Peter Bruegel the Elder. And the painting in question is called Saul's Suicide and depicts a scene where Saul, after being chased by the Philistines, deliberately falls upon his own sword. This account is told, as you may have guessed, in the Bible. And Bruegel the Elder was known to paint many scenes from biblical accounts, and this one can be found on the site dedicated to all of his works, every one of them in high-definition quality. Wait for it! The art in question, painted around 1560, shows a good amount of detail, and when we zoom into the area in question, we see people riding dinosaurs. Oh, yes, they are indeed in the painting, in the museum, and on the site dedicated to the painter. Whoa, my mind was blown, until I did a bit of research and found that dinosaurs weren't mentioned in the Bible anywhere, especially in this epic. What was mentioned quite a few times were camels. Now, camels weren't well known in northern Europe in the 1500s, and neither were dinosaurs for that matter. But during the Dark Ages, when Rome marched its way across Western Europe and England, they brought camels with them. They found they made great pack animals. People from France and England were amazed at these strange-looking animals and drew pictures and crude paintings of them. These were mostly based off of someone else's recollection of the animal and lost a bit in translation into the visual. Some camels were shown as having long, snake-like necks. The camels were essentially gone, along with most of the Romans, by the 13th century. All that remained were the stories and some drawings, and that is all Bugel, the elder, had to go on when he painted this scene. Camels. Animals he had never seen, only read about. Creatures with long, snake-like necks that made them look like something else he had never seen before, dinosaurs. And thanks for watching.